Hi there, my name is Elena and today I want to talk about fears of getting started when we want to start something but we're afraid, we have a lot of fears, we have a lot of doubts and I have small seven tips that I want to share with you and the first one is starting from a soft start because usually or sometimes we're thinking oh I, I want to do another job, I just want to switch from my job to another one, I need to change everything in one day, but I'm afraid I have my own job or maybe my new project will not be success, successful, I don't want to uh, lose my job because it's income, right? So I always recommend to start as a soft start, so you don't need to uh, quit your job. If you have a full-time job, for example, and you want to start your new project, try to squeeze your new project, your new topics in your daily routine. Yes, sometimes it's hard, but it's more comfortable, it's more easier and it's more safe to do so, so you will have two benefits from it. You will have your income, your job, your uh, streams that you have and you will try your new project, right? Because sometimes even we can try something and we think that it will be incredible, but when we are starting in one month we realized, oh, I don't really, it's not really that I thought or it's not really that I wanted to do. So it will be not a disaster to switch between two projects, between two jobs from one to another if you will have a soft star. I always recommend to do so. Even if you, you are thinking about starting a new channel, even if you're thinking to start, I don't know, like to be a painter or to start your Instagram like a more like a creator, you don't need to switch, like you don't need to close a previous one and start a new one. You can squeeze and start new one together. Like in one day you will have two projects and then when you will realize, oh, with new project I have uh, a lot of engagement, I love it, I want to do like a full time, you then changing. And the next one I always recommend to do so, uh, instead of if you want to, for example, do a physical products, like you want to sell mugs, or you want to sell your prints, or you want to do something and sell something, or you want to uh, sell your services, like a photographer or a stylist, for example, right? Um, I always recommend you to think about selling first Mm, and not to spend all like 100% time uh, on a product because to be honest to create a product it's sometimes not a big deal you create in website you create in some products like a pottery for example yeah and then you are sitting and thinking what I supposed to do with it so I recommend to do opposite way to think first how I want to or how I supposed to sell it and then to focus on product for example if you have an audience small audience like 200 people on Instagram or on Twitter on YouTube and you want to sell start to sell something just to do a soft announce about your project, about your product, about your service, whatever, and see the response. If people will sell or say, oh yeah, I would love to buy it, uh, if it's two people, it's not enough, right? But if will, it will be 20, 30, 50 person who will tell you, oh, I'm so excited, can't wait, you will do it, then you will have a positive feedback, right? Because it's really bad, um, <laughs> But situation when you create in 10 pots for 100 and then starting to sell it and you don't understand why people are not buying it, you're thinking you're a bad artist or your product is bad, it is not. It, your product is not bad and we can sell a mark for 100 but to sell in 100 we need to think about it before the product, right? And it doesn't mean we need to do products that people are want to buy. No, it means that we need to combine what we want and what people expect, right? When we combine it all together we have income and we have easy income from people because they need it and we really want to create or do the service for them. And when I'm saying like think about how you will sell, 
Maybe you need to prepare a platform for it. Maybe you need to create a website first. Maybe you need to uh, ask your um, um, audience first. Maybe you need to tell about your project more on Instagram. Yeah. So if your Instagram more daily life and then in one day you are telling, oh guys, hello, I'm selling Max today. People will be confused like, what? Why? You are not into pottery. Why are you are selling it? Did you hack it or something? Yeah. So people will not understand why you are doing it from nowhere. So I really recommend to tell about what you are working on. Um, we're receiving feedback. If maybe people will comment or suggest something or ask something. And from these questions, you will do understand what people are expecting from you, what people are really want from you tell people what you are doing, showing the process, showing behind the scene and receiving this feedback. And maybe you will have questions, maybe you will have hate comments, always can be, right? And it will help you to be prepared before selling, right? So before even creating product, if you are starting to do new marks and you're thinking, oh, Mm, yeah, I want to, but people will buy it or not, and what price? Yeah, and before it, you need to have a feedback, you, know, you need to receive comments, and that's why I recommend to think about selling first and then creating products, or you can do it in a like on a both way, but not opposite way. When you creating product, uh, working on it for a year, for example, yeah, or two months, three months, and then realizing nobody buying it, because you don't have audience, you don't know your audience, you don't know how to sell it, you don't have um, like platform how to sell it, people don't understand what is it, so you're telling about your product not that much, right? So thinking about marketing and PR uh, before creating product really, really will help you to boost your project when you will launch it and your customers will be happy and you will be happy with your sales. <laughs> And the next one, uh, as I told previously on my previous videos as well, remember you will never start in from the beginning. Even if you're switching from a financial sector or IT to more creative part, it doesn't mean you switching to completely something new, no, because you have knowledge of marketing, you have knowledge how to sell, you have knowledge how to um, manage uh, all the stuff, right? So you have some experience even with your different projects, if you, even if it's completely different niche, right? So don't think like you are totally beginner because we are never totally beginners, we have some knowledge and we just combine all our knowledge in a new project and it will help us not to be afraid of starting because, um, because it's uh, not um, starting from zero, right? It's starting from three or from five, depends on your, based on your experience. So um, don't, don't think about yourself like you are, you don't know nothing. Yeah, you don't know a lot stuff in your new niche, but still it's not completely new. You know something from your ex previous experience and this experience will help you to build your new project in that shape that you love to do. <laughs> and the next one, it's also okay to take a pause um, to stop to do something, for example, you just started to do uh, pillows or you just started to do mugs and in th six months you realized I want to stop here and maybe in a few months I will continue. And it's totally okay, don't be afraid of it. So sometimes we think about, oh, if I starting to do something, I need to do it for my whole life. No. It is not. It's okay to take pause, it's okay to think about something. For example, if you're doing YouTube channel, yeah, and you think, oh, I don't feel comfortable, or I don't like what I'm doing, I just want to stop it, and you think you need, so, and sometimes we have only two options, to continue or to stop to do it completely, right? But between that, we can stop to do it for two months and re rethink or take a rest from our project and then continue to do it in two months or next year, because it 
also not about we need to if we are started we need to do it every day it doesn't work this way we can start another project and then come back to our project so our fears sometimes based on what people are saying about our projects yes yeah, so what people are expecting we're supposed to do so so like oh i posted that i started to do pottery and in two months i will say that i have a pause from it mm, people will out on, on me no <laughs> if you will do something or if you will talk about uh, other topics nobody will even uh, notice that you stop to do something you don't need to announce it oh i stop you can you can do an announce that you or oh, i want to have a rest uh, till end of the year from my project i will do another project it's okay if you're doing it and you, if you're confident confident in saying that that it's totally okay so people will understand it we, people will accept it the most important part is to feel and to think what we it's our decision to continue or it's our it's pressure in our head that people are expecting from us that we need to continue right so, so to take pause it's totally totally okay and i really even recommend to do it if you feel like you're uh, boring or if uh, you are burned out of your projects it doesn't mean you don't like it it means you need to take a rest and then to think how you want to continue it in in other form and another one is to don't afraid hate <laughs> sometimes we are afraid to start something because um, we don't want to have hate comments and i can say it always can be from our relatives from our even parents from our partners friends uh, or from random people on internet right but when we are creating when we are doing something when we are starting a new project when we are doing something new we have to be prepared that hate comments can be sometimes we think oh we'll have only hate but it is not people are quite supportive uh, when we are starting new new stuff maybe they will talk about it um, not not publicly right but doesn't mean because you are everyone started to do something previous day, days and it's totally totally okay so if you're afraid of hate maybe some popular project will be hard because imagine if we are starting to do something and we get one hate comments and we stopped to um, do our project because of one hate comment but could you imagine when your project will be that successful that you will have i don't know for youtube channel for example you'll have one million uh, followers and imagine how many different comments you will have right so we need to train ourselves we need to be relaxed about it uh, we need to accept other comments because um, sometimes in hate comments um, sometimes we can find truth sometimes we can find improvements and sometimes if we uh, um, cut it, cut this comment into parts like oh it's hate and that one is kind of related to me for example if people are saying oh your video like video quality is uh, so bad or your audio quality is so so bad and we think oh it's haters it is not people are trying to express themselves and telling it in a root form but still it's um, helpful for us and helpful uh, things that we can get and accept and do some improvement to our projects to our uh, for example products physical products or to services to management to communication to technical parts right so not always hate comments are hate comments but sometimes they are <laughs> so the next one after it to find community for support 
uh, really important we know we all know about it that we need community but sometimes we think oh I don't have any friends or I don't have any physical communities that I can be part of it but doesn't mean you need to go somewhere or it doesn't mean you need to have physical uh, people around you know for example you started to paint or you started pottery or you started to do photography or you started to be a stylist for example yeah it's okay to be a part of or just follow other people to see their journey it will help you to feel that community it doesn't mean that you need to receive specific comments it doesn't mean you need a youtube channel about something yeah but even if you want to build and start to build your own community you don't need to um, think that or you, I can start a YouTube channel only in two years when I will be good in pottery. No, you can start to do YouTube channel now and show your journey. So YouTube or any educational video, it's not about you're teaching people how to live or you're teaching people how to do something. You're showing how you do it, how, how you do it and you are telling story about your journey, about your life, about your process and to be honest it's more than enough sometimes to build a community, to have people around you and it doesn't mean you need to, to, to say or to show everything about your life no, it is not. You can show only one part of your life, for example, on Instagram, on YouTube, some, somewhere that you want to show. So socials, it, socials are not expecting that you need to show all your life from parents to your child. Um, if you need to put it on Instagram, it is not. You can decide what part of your life you want to show on your socials and it's totally okay. So if you will tell about what you're doing, how you're living and about your journey, people will join you, will comment you, will be part of your community and this community will be really, really supportive even if it's like 10 people. Imagine to have 10 friends around sitting in one room, right? So it's quite supportive community. We don't need thousands, we don't need millions, we need just our people, it's more than enough. So to, to, to focus more on uh, quality, not at quantity. And if we are just starting to do something, building community really help us to be in a safe space and build uh, this uh, self space for ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> and the last one is about try to think or try to educate yourself or try to watch uh, videos or courses read books not only about your topic for example you started to do pottery so watch videos not only about pottery but about marketing about branding about how to create beautiful photos for your product even if it's like photos on iphone right how to edit videos how to um, how PR works, how PR works in art world or in your creative world that you are starting to do. So if you just want to get, gain some money from it, you need to understand marketing, you need to un understand market, you need to understand how to work within this market and you can like divide for example uh, 70 percent you can watch about pottery yeah about your niche about your topics that you are practicing in and 30 percent to um, to um, watch on youtube for example about art uh, business about small businesses watching vlogs from uh, other guys who do in small businesses watching about marketing for small businesses it will help you really to think about your project like a whole thing not only product but also about selling like we talked about it 
in the beginning uh, of this video, right? And yeah, here is my tips. Hopefully it was helpful, interesting, and I really suggest you to write your notes, your thoughts, or your new ideas that you got, uh, because tomorrow you'll forget about it. But if you will write, you can write it on your phone, you could write in on your like notebook, whatever you like, but it's really important to write it because even if you will not start your project tomorrow, today, in one week, you want to start it in three months, you will then have your notes, you will read these notes and get the ideas of maybe you want to start a lot of different projects. For example, I have a note on my uh, iPhone about all projects that I want to start and when I'm uh, having, having this list um, and when I'm just finished one project and want to start something new, I open this note and think, oh, okay, what next I supposed to do? So I have a lot of, a lot of notes and uh, ideas about new projects, but it doesn't mean I need to start everything at once, right? I just started one and then switch to another, maybe one project it's, I feel like, I'm not ready for it now and then switch it to another and it's totally okay. For me personally, it's totally okay because I like to switch between different projects and I feel comfortable about it. Yeah, I have fears. Yeah, I have um, like overthinking sometimes about starting. That's why I decided to film this video, how I try to deal with it. And um, yeah, it's totally okay to do whatever you like. You don't have a specific um, process, how you need to do a business, how you need to be creative, how you need to create your art, right? You can do whatever you like, just try to structure your thoughts, your ideas, write everything so you don't need to keep it in mind. You can keep it on your phone or on your paper so you will um, clean your mind, clean your head for the next ideas, for the next thoughts and yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Write your comments or any questions in um, um, below this video and I would love to help or just to discuss something that you, you want to share. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your subscriptions and see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>